on six now. And uh, Pi would like a shout out uh, to F8 and the Sweet Wall Hacks. Yeah. <laughs> there was some smack talking in the server a little bit earlier, and uh, unfortunately, I don't know if. Uh, you know, I don't know if it's serious or if these two teams really do hate each other, but they're throwing out some really strange stuff right now. So we're just gonna part it. We're just gonna ignore them for a few moments and wait as a couple people are readying up. So it looks like we do have a full roster. I'll give you a quick roster rundown, courtesy of Speakeasy. Got the Axis team starting out for F4M. We are gonna have oh a bunch of confusing names: Fluke, Killum, Fuzzy Cheek One, Fuzz Cheek One. I'm sorry, Pi. Uh, S2, oh my goodness, we'll call him S2, and, uh, Dot Nem. For the Lazy Bastards, we have Odin, T-G-E, see, I said it right. He, I actually got a lecture in IRC today about how to pronounce Odin's name. He was like, everyone pronounces it as if it's one word. It's not Odin, T-G, it's, it's Odin, T-E-G. Well, and I'm actually really glad he pointed that out to me because I would actually call it Odin, T-G. Because that's what it looks like. But Odin, T-E-G. Mezzi, Metro, Shoot a Fire, Cake, and Answer. All for the Lazy Bastard Squad. We have got Coke, Whoopaz, and Cheeler for TWL. We've got Beer Man, who is a spectator and a backup for the LB Squad. And Nassim for F4M. Got people asking for shoutouts. And, uh, Prepare to fight. These guys are ready to go. So we're just going to hop right into this match. We are on Gold Rush, and we're going to have. F4M defending against the incoming Lazy Bastards. Match is going to begin in five seconds here on Inside the Game. This is the TWL Beta 7 Finals. And here we go. Fight. Steal the tank. Steal the tank. the command post. Here are the commands. The command what post. has to be done? Being in the background as the allies are going to be making their play towards the tank to get that started up and on the way. We've got Lazy Bastards coming in. They've got their grenades in hand. And they are streaming a path right now to the courtyard to find the tank. And here we go. The fight has already begun over this tank. As F4M is swarming that thing, the Jag Panther is not going anywhere anytime too soon. 14.30 remaining on the clock. And that... Push by the Allied squad. Unsuccessful as F4M managing to stay in there. Metro did make it through but was taken out with a point blank grenade from Fluke. Nicely done. And with just under 14 minutes to go in this map, F4M still has a good kill on that tank right now. They've got good control of this courtyard and that tank. They are completely all set up and the match is paused. Why do we have this match paused? See if we can find some communication to find out what's going on. As it looks like the allies paused the match. That's going to be the Lazy Bastard squad. All of the pings look good. Everyone's happy. No one's talking. <laughs> oh, as apparently we do have lag outs. It's not showing up on the server, though, they're, as their pings are still looking, uh, you know, below 50. But we'll give them a couple minutes to get this settled. And then this game will be underway. Take a look at the tank right now here on Gold Rushes. We've got a great number of points around that tank. That's going to make it very difficult for the Lazy Bastard Squad to get in here and get the job done. Get this tank moving and down the pathway all the way to the bank where they need to get a shot off at those bank doors. Blow that wide open and then the gold will be exposed. They can run in, grab the gold, and then take it all the way back to the tank. Or sorry, not the tank, to the truck, which is set up over here. Um, in sort of the lower courtyard, there's a truck, there's a spot where the gold needs to go on that, and then the truck needs to go all the way around the corner and up the hill before it can be taken away with the Axe's booty in store. We are still waiting for those two players. There we go. They've got their pings now up to about 300, so I guess they were lagging out, but they're still not at that 999 session, as there is the enemy territory dog barking in the background. Where is that dog? Let's see if we can go find him on the map. No, no dogs in sight. All right. So 14 minutes and 8 seconds won this time, or the timeout was called in, and we're just waiting for those pings to settle down before this game is back underway here and inside the game. We've also got some Quake 4 happening tonight. It's a Quake 4 one-on-one -on -one with Clock versus Sermi. We've also got a TDM 4-on-4 four -four matchup, and I'm not too sure which the teams are there. As it sounds like, the uh, Lazy Bastards are going to wait out this timeout, which is uh, another two minutes on this timeout here, to see if their pings are going to calm down. So let's take a quick break. We'll be right back. Enemy territory, TWL Beta 7. This is the finals here at Inside the Game. We're in a timeout. We'll be back in just a second. Neblending Gaming on Radio ITG. 
doesn't that look totally Wolfenstein? Dude, there's verification right here. That it is. Yeah. I was right. Anna, Anna on did it. Awesome, dude. Look, you fight a giant elephant, dude. Yeah, that's hardcore. Oh, wait, it says out of grapes. Better feed him some wheat. Yeah! <laughs> No freaks. Epileptic Gaming, Fridays at 7, only on Radio ITG. Would you like some of this? Rocking on the LG style, and a nice jump pad assault on the quad given by Ricky. He sounds with the rocket, and Paul Wall's gonna kick up that quad. Or some of this. Third Templar in front, killing off several zealots. Nicely done here by Pierhus. He's pushing back Puerto Rican slowly but surely. He's got a Dark Templar to deal with. Uh, how about both? I love you. I love you too. <laughs> this is Radio ITG. And we are back. This is DA for Inside the Game. Still 45 seconds to go on that time out. As Mezzi right now is pinging about 944. That's got to be pretty painful. Shooter Fire, also the other one who is timed out right now. And 30 seconds to go in this timeout, but whether or not they're going to uh, just let this sit or if they're going to take a couple more seconds yeah. to try and get their pings all nice and pretty, that remains to be seen. As our admins discussing this amongst themselves, of course. As Cake is saying, his, down, his dad is uh, downloading porn, which, of course, will negatively affect your ping, which is why you should have more than one connection. <laughs> As apparently, um, they're pinging high on Ventrilo as well, so it must be their ISP. Oh, curses. All right, the match is going to be coming back in in about six seconds, so we'll see if the admins are going to help for that timeout. Or if we're going to force them to play. There it is. The referee has paused the match, so we are definitely going to wait this out to see if the pings settle down as we've got Mezzi and Shootafire of the Lazy Bastard Squad, both of them right now, pinging above 300 and spiking to about 900 every couple of seconds. That definitely would make the game unplayable. So we're going to give them a few minutes. I'm going to take us out to another quick break, and we will be back as soon as possible with this enemy territory matchup, Lazy Bastards versus F4M ET Beta 7 Finals for TWL. We'll be right back. On 6 now. And uh, Pi would like a shout out uh, to FA for the sweet wall hacks. Yeah. <laughs> there was some sky talking in the server a little bit earlier, and uh, unfortunately, I don't know if uh, you know. I don't know if it's serious or if these two teams really do hate each other, but they're throwing out some really strange stuff right now. So we're just going to part it. We're just going to ignore them for a few moments and wait as. A couple people are readying up, so it looks like we do have a full roster. I'll give you a quick roster rundown, courtesy of Speakeasy. Got the Axis team starting out for F4M. We are going to have oh, a bunch of confusing names: Fluke, Killum, Fuzzy Cheek One, Fuzz Cheek One. I'm sorry, Pi, uh, S2. Oh my goodness, we'll call him S2 and uh, Dot Nem. For the Lazy Bastards, we have Odin, T-G-E. See, I said it right. He, I actually got a lecture in IRC today about how to pronounce Odin's name. He was like, everyone pronounces it as if it's one word. It's not Odin Chige. It's, it's Odin, T-E-G. Well, and I'm actually really glad he pointed that out to me because I would actually call it Odin Chige. Because that's what it looks like. But Odin, T-E-G, Mezzi, Metro, Shoot a Fire, Cake, and Answer. All for the Lazy Bastard Squad. We have got Coke, Whoopaz, and Cheeler for TWL. We've got Beer Man, who is a spectator and a backup for the LB Squad. And Nassim for F4M. Got people asking for shoutouts. And, uh, Prepare to fight. These guys are ready to go. So we're just going to hop right into this match. We are on Gold Rush, and we're going to have... F4M defending against the incoming Lazy Bastards. Match is going to begin in five seconds here on Inside the Game. This is the TWL Beta 7 Finals. And here we go. Fight. Steal the tank. Steal the tank. the command post. Here are the commands. What has to be done? Being in the background as the Allies are going to be making their play towards the tank to get that started up and on the way. We've got Lazy Bastards coming in. They've got their grenades in hand. And they are streaming a path right now to the courtyard to find the tank. And here we go. The fight has already begun over this tank. As F4M is swarming that thing, the Jag Panther is not going anywhere anytime too soon. 14.30 remaining on the clock. And that hand of this tank, it was repaired. He is an engineer. It's not too healthy. I definitely wouldn't want to trust my booty to that. But it is now on its way down the path. It's nearing that first corner as Answer is sitting in the MG42 slot, making his way around that first corner. 
And we have got an Axis engineer trying to create that tank area right now. It is Nam, and oh, nicely done with that satchel charge taken out. And it looks like that did not get constructed. Very nice play by the Lazy Bastards. That tank barrier was about halfway complete when they were able to get the players out of there. And as a result, the tank, the tank is now barrier. on its way. Past the first barrier, you can hear it. It is nearing that second corner. 11.58 remaining on the clock. Rifle grenades being used by Mezzi. That ping doesn't seem to be help or harming him too much as he also gets a nice pistol kill following that one up. We are past the second corner and the wall has been destroyed and the tank command is moving into position as the Allied command post has been constructed. Their charge speed has been increased and with 11 minutes and 39 seconds remaining on the clock, the tank is moving into position. It is destroying that little bench. The tank is moving. There's the gun. And Kablooey! The bank doors the are now open. The gold is in peril as the Allies have a clear shot at that Axis gold. 11.21 remaining on the clock as we've got some MG42 action from Answer. He is on top of that tank, getting himself another couple of kills before he will be taken out by Killam's grenade. And the Lazy Bastards now have made quite a lot of headsway as they're making their way inside that bank right now. Cake is in control. Objective he is taken. all by himself, but there is no sign of any resistance. There is no resistance from F4M whatsoever, and Cake is now the gold. He is just skipping and jumping and having himself a gay old time. He's going to hide in some bushes as he was getting some axes flat. Here he is now. He's got some backup in the form of Metro. The gold is down and the gold was returned. As it looks like, no, he didn't get too far with that as Nam was able to get in there. But Metro is going to join him. And once again, that gold is in allied hands. Metro is making his way outside. He is through the far door and he's going to try and find a clear path to that truck. There is quite a lot of access coverage of the bank exits though. And he is finding himself in a little bit of trouble. He still has the gold underneath his shirt as he is now being chased down by two Axis members and he is taken out around the corner as it looks like uh, S2 was the one who took him out and then returned that gold for the Axis. Ten minutes and eight seconds remaining on the clock. That is the second grab of the gold by the Lazy Master Squad. And grab number three is just up right now. The gold is in the hands of Odin. And Odin is going to try and make his way to that truck and escape with the gold. Here he is coming right now. There are a lot of Axis bodies in that courtyard. And it looks like a medic was able to get in there as, oh, Luke is able to revive his teammates. And they took out the Axis gold carrier. Returned that gold once again. That was the third unsuccessful grab for the Lazy Bastard squad. As if they're letting the gold go, but they're not letting it go very far. And we're going to have to make a fourth attempt for that gold. Nine minutes and 30 seconds remaining on the clock. Lazy Bastards are going to spawn back in. They're killing themselves to come back in as a different class. They've damaged the tank. And the tank has been damaged, but we don't care about that. And the tank is not needed anymore, but there's the gold. Gold bars are just sitting there on that desk. Not a very secure bank. I would not want to leave my money to them. Nine minutes and ten seconds remaining. As we are now waiting for the fourth team. Oh, no, we've got some ping problems. As we've got Mezzi spiking up to 700. He's got 651 right now. Shootifier is still having some problems with his ping around 300, but it looks like they are just going to keep going with that. That's unfortunate as Mezzi is still Objective able to get those taken. kills. Objective as there is the fourth gold grab. Shootifier with his 300 ping has the gold, and he is a medic, so he's healing himself as best he can, making a run for where the truck used to be. And instead, now he's going to go a long way to the new truck location. As Mezzi is a trooper, yes, he definitely is. He's still playing with that 900 ping spikeage. That's got to be painful for him, but he's still getting the kills and still helping his team out a heck of a lot. So we have got Shootafire and the gold waiting for his teammates to spawn in. Very smart play. He's now got a whole team of people coming for him, and they're going to cover his ass as he runs that gold down the hill and whole truck to get the gold to its destination. Shootafire now backed up with the rest of his teammates. The Axis have uh, staked out the truck, but it's too late. The gold is on the truck, and now the truck is on. His F4M is absolute carnage right now. They managed to take out the entire team of lazy bastards, only leaving one poor person. That is Answer, and Answer's going to do what he can. He does take out Pine with his Thompson, and the truck is no on the run as Answer kills himself. So the truck is going to stall as we wait for the allies to spawn back in. 7 minutes and 37 seconds on the clock. And here comes the Lazy Bastards. Shoot of Fire was going to drop onto that truck, but was taken out by Flukes Thompson as a two-man F4M squad set up around that truck. It's not going to happen. Fluke has been taken out. Nim has been taken out. And here comes the LB allied team. 
as we have got some dynamite being planted by Metro because the truck barrier at that truck barrier, but they're going to have to wait another 23 seconds before they can get this truck on the move as more than half the map has gone by, 7 minutes and 3 seconds. And this delay is actually a very smart move by the F4M squad. Grenades are being tossed out. Nice two-man kill for Metro with that grenade as we had an engineer trying to disable the dynamite at the truck barrier. Didn't happen, and that is going to go, but that cost the Allied, that cost the Allied squad a good 40 seconds, 30 seconds for that dynamite to blow up with them. They're trying to get there and get that dynamite planted, and then make sure they're guarding that dynamite before they can actually get this truck on the move. Very smart play by the F4M squad, but the truck is now on the move. Six minutes and 30, 31 seconds remaining on the clock. Shoot a fire is hanging out on the grill of that truck as that's pushing them backwards. And they are now making their way. It's past the first corner, and they are now going up the hill through the secondary courtyard. And the truck is making its way, as here is Fuzz Cheek. He's trying to get it done, but no, Shoot a Fire will take him out with that Thompson. And the rest of the Allied squad are going to come join their buddy, join the Axis booty in the back of that truck. And that is almost home. It's rounding that last corner. Six minutes and four seconds remaining on the clock. And this truck is gone. The Allies will set a time of... dun 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 there it is, Allies escape with the gold, and the time is set to 9.05. Nine minutes and five seconds, not the best time we've seen here on Gold Rush, but definitely not the worst. Let's see if we can find out what's going on. We've got the highest fragger going to Cake of the Lazy Bastard Squad. Fluke racking up four medals, highest experience points, ranking officer, highly decorated, and the best medic. Very nicely done for F4M. Nine minutes and five seconds on the clock. Everyone's readying up. Going to take us out to a quick break, and we'll be right back. This is Enemy Territory Beta 7 TWL Finals here on Inside the Game. Epileptic Gaming on Radio ITG. Once we go video, we can't do this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That sucks. Yeah, you might end up naked. Well, I won't. We might Ed end up naked. Will. What are you talking about? We're already <laughs> naked. <laughs> It's a party! Hold on, hold on. let me, uh, Ed, let me rub your nipple for good luck for the last 45 minutes. Yeah, ru- Carnival! <laughs> Epileptic Gaming, Fridays at 7, only on Radio ITG. And we are back. Everyone has readied up, and this match is going to begin in five seconds. The countdown already happening. We've got some enemy territory action. The Lazy Bastards taking on F4M. Nine minutes and five seconds on the clock. So let's go see what the now allied squad of F4M is going to do against the in or the defending Lazy Bastard team. Will nine minutes and five seconds be good enough to def- uh, to get them that point? We'll have to see. As you can hear, the grenades being tossed out left, right, and center. They're making their way towards that tank right now as we've got Lazy Bastards. Their defense is set up all around that. You can see the landmines being planted right now by Odin, TEG. And the tank barrier has already been constructed. We did have an engineer, that's Metro, diving out to the tank barrier, and he got that set up, but... S2 has got that dynamite planted at the tank barrier, so we're not even really worried about the tank just yet, as we're just blowing up the barriers, and with 8 minutes and 18 seconds remaining on the clock, they've got a lot of work cut out for themselves if they want to get that bank doors blown wide open, steal the gold, and make it all the way home in time to beat the remaining seconds on the clock. 8 minutes and 6 seconds, the tank has not been repaired, Answer is on top of that tank, he is joined by Odin, and the two of them are providing some heavy defense with the landmines, courtesy of Mezu, the engineer. Here come F4M, the tank barrier has been destroyed, you can hear the ratchet of the engineer's flyers, and there it is, the tank has been repaired, it is now on its way, and they are making their way through the corner through the courtyard first door has been cleared by this tank seven minutes and 37 seconds remaining on the clock as f4m has the tank repaired and it is now moving to its final destination the tank barrier was constructed and destroyed but the axis command post has already been constructed its charge speed has been increased and the fight is taken out to the bridge as we've got the allies trying to once again construct that tank barrier and Odin, no, it's not going to happen as kill him in the tank mounted MG42 takes out the Axis engineer before he can finish construction of that tank barrier. Very nice move by the F4M squad and with 7 minutes and 5 has been damaged. That was damaged by, I'm not quite sure what, it just happened to get hurt but the tank has been repaired courtesy of the engineers. And the truck barrier has already been constructed as we've got the Axis engineers taking advantage of this lull time while the tank moves into position. And they have got that barrier already up and constructed. We'll get to that when we need to, but right now the tank is crossing the bridge. 
it's going to move into position. That gun will shoot, and the tank or the bank doors will be blown wide open with six minutes and 34 seconds remaining on the clock. And the gold inside that bank right now. F4M. They're going to respawn as something else, and there it is. The bank the door gold. is blown. Gold is in peril. And the command post for the Allies has been damage on the, the move. Tank damage. We don't care. Let's take a look inside the bank right now. No sign of defense inside the bank, but that doesn't mean set up around the bank. There is not a lot of access goodness with 6.05 remaining on the clock. We've got Metro taking out by, or taking out NAM, and support fire coming from S2 will take out Odin as answer for the Lazy Bastards now moving into position inside the tank, or inside the bank right now. And there is Fluke, he will be taken out with a pistol. Nicely done for answer. That goal is safe for another couple of seconds. Here we go again. We're going to have another attempted push. And Pi, no, Pi knows where Answer is and he will take out uh, the waiting Axis member, but Mezzi is going to come in and save the day in the background, and he is down. Mezzi now saving the gold for the Allies, and it is now 5 minutes and 25 seconds remaining on the clock. We've had two attempts on that gold, but so far no one has been able to come in and take that away from the Axis team. The Lazy Bastards have that defense set up good. It's been close a couple of times. But Mezzi is going to kill himself now and come in as something else. This will be a good chance for them to go in and grab the gold. And there we go. Just like that, Killam was going to try and make a play for it. But it did not happen. But thanks to the backup by the form of Fuzzcheek. Fuzzcheek on his way. Oh, and it's taken out. Rifle grenade from Mezzi. Nicely done. Takes out both Fuzzcheek and his backup, Killam. And then himself for just good measure. Four minutes and 45 seconds remaining on that clock. Don't forget that truck barrier is still up and has been constructed, so they're going to have to a lot 30 seconds for that before they can get the truck away to its uh, return point. And the gold has not yet dynamite even been picked planted. up. So there it is, the dynamite planted at that truck barrier, but the gold is still inside the bank. As Mezzi, no, he was taken out by answer and then revived. So we've got some team medic action happening here inside this bank. Here we go, Nam is on his way inside. He has the gold, he is backed up by Pi. And Pi is taken down, so is Nam, but Fuzzcheek is there just on the outside. He is a medic, he'll revive his teammate and then make a run for it with the gold. It did not happen though, as he was taken out by answer. And answer with his MP43 kills in a row. Holy crap! But that is not going to be enough. As once again, oh, the axe is managing to return those gold bars. I thought they got them to the truck. Looks like it was just outside when the allies came back and took that gold. Or the axes came back and took that gold away from them. Three minutes and 40 seconds as we've got another pause. It looks like we have lost a member of F4M. As, uh, let's see who we lost here. <laughs> Alright, there we go. S2, not able to join the team. As he joined the Allies team, that's not good. No, get back on your own team. All right, now we've got six on six. Seeing their strategies. <laughs> Time for recruitment, to be honest. <laughs> These two teams claiming that S2 is a traitor. He has joined the, La the LB squad. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're going to wait for this timeout to get back inside this game. There is 3 minutes and 40 seconds on the clock. The gold still in possession. Um, so on that gold, it managed to get outside, but they did not get that to the truck. The tank barrier uh, was constructed and then destroyed. And now they're just waiting to get that gold to get rid of that Axis gold. Right now, that barrier was constructed. It's now destroyed. But they still need to get that gold and put it in the back of the truck before they can do anything. And they're having a little bit of crazy bastards. You've got one heck of a defense set up around this goal. And F4M's trying to do everything they can. It's now a fight for the gold. And Fluke has that in his hands. Oh, rifle grenade from Mezzi. Nicely done. The gold is once again back on its very secure position of that desktop. And Mezzi has just been one heck of a trooper here. He's got that ping problem, but he's still managing to kick all the ass there is to kick here in enemy territory. It'll be interesting to see the rankings. This game is actually over three minutes now on the clock. Will that be enough time for F4M to grab the gold, get it to the truck, and then get the truck all the way home? As they're going to try this once again, but LB Answer is there to stop the fight before it even really begins. He is backed up by four members of the LB squad, and F4M streaming inside that bank right now. 
As we've got Mezzi still alive, he's going to do everything he can, and that was a null and void push. Lazy Bastards once again in control of this bank. They've got this locked down pretty serious. And with 2 minutes and 26 seconds time rapidly running out for the FRM squad, haven't been able to get that gold to the truck. And without that, well, you're just not going to manage to go anywhere. First team, 2-2 two, two points, will take the win. And Lazy Bastards are in prime position to grab themselves the first points of this match in just a couple more minutes if they can keep up this defense against the F4M squad. Odin and his MP40. Between Odin, Answer, and Mezzi, it's a three-man destruction team here for the Lazy Bastards. They're absolutely cutting a path through the incoming F4M squad. And as a result, well, that gold is still in position inside that bank. And no one has been able to take that away from them. Lazy Bastards are going to kill themselves, come back in with 142 remaining on the clock. We are definitely cutting it very, very close here. F4M is going to have time for one or two desperate pushes if they want to get their hands on this gold. We're inside the bank right now and not seeing a lot of anything. And a four-man defensive squad set up by the Lazy Bastards. F4M, last-ditch attempt. They're coming in the front doors. And that was quickly shut down. But no, Kilo managing to sneak through. And now they need to answer to answer. Mezzi's K43, nicely done, takes out Pi. And that was another unsuccessful push for F4M. And we have officially got one minute and two seconds remaining on the clock. It is going to be very tough, if not impossible, at this point for F4M to get this away from the Lazy Bastards. And here more gunshots happening outside as F4M has been unable to get through as Cake and his Thompson and then his pistol. Holy crap. One, two, three men in a row. All by his lonesome self. Very nicely done. 38 seconds to go. And I think it's fairly safe to say that not a chance in hell is going to work for the F4M squad. They're going to be unable to beat the time of 9.05 set up by the Lazy Bastards. And as a result, the first point will go to the LB squad. Very nicely done. Some very good strategies both on offense and defense. And the final 18 seconds to go. We're just waiting for this map to end. As uh, Fluke, yeah, well, it. Fluke is going to grab the gold anyways. He may not win the map, but he still wants to have that gold for himself. Through, he's now outside, and it's not going to happen. Shootfire won't even let him get that far. Two seconds to go. And that is it. 9.05, unable to beat that time. And highest fragger goes to Mezzi. Best engineer and the highest accuracy. Very nicely done. Answer, of course, also coming in. Experience points, highest racker, and the most highly decorated. Very, very nicely done. As these guys, good games being exchanged. Point is now 1-0 to zero in favor of the Lazy Master Squad over F4M. And everyone ready enough to try this once again. Going to take us out to a quick break. We'll be right back. This is Enemy Territory TWL Beta 7. The finals, the very final finals here on Inside the Game. We'll be right back. This is Radio ITG. You are a young, up-and-coming, computer-savvy individual. You're both wired and jacked in with every conceivable mobility at your fingertips. You are a fully modern creature driving in the fast lane on the information superhighway. So what is this piece of archaic infrastructure doing in your house? Speakeasy is proud to present OneLink, a nationwide dedicated DSL connection that does not require a telephone landline. Why bother paying up to $40 a month to keep that phone line around just for your DSL? With Speakeasy's OneLink, you don't need to. You get a dedicated line that offers a superior connection and all the features of DSL, crazy fast speeds, a higher quality network, intelligent support without the hassle of that old-fashioned landline. Do yourself a favor and visit www.speakeasy.net to order Speakeasy's One Link DSL service today. Put that extra $40 a month to good use and treat yourself a lot of triple shot, half fat, no foam, extra hot, sugar free, no whip hazelnut mocha lattes. Inside the Gate Radio, Radio ITG. And we are back. This is Enemy Territory live on Inside the Game, coming in against the Lazy Bastards. They're going to try and defend. Nine minutes and five seconds was not enough time for them to get it done in that last round. Can they do it with a full 50 minutes on the clock? Well, we're going to have to wait and see. As it looks like an engineer was trying to get that tank barrier constructed, and Metro was, in fact, able to do that. So already we've got some problems for the F4M squad. The tank barrier has been constructed, and we're having some trouble getting that tank repaired and on the move. We've got Lazy Bastards all set up around there. Lots and lots of landmines, lots of grenades being thrown out. 
and that Finn remaining on the clock, and the Lazy Bastards looking pretty good. They've got the first point over F4M. And they are hoping to get their second, making it a clean sweep in these finals. I would not count out F4M, though, as they were able to hold the Lazy Bastards to 9 minutes and 5 seconds in the first round. And they're looking to set a time here with the full 50 minutes on the clock. Lots of grenade fire coming out. There's artillery support coming from Shooter Fire. 13 minutes and 30 seconds. More rifle grenade action coming from Mezzi, one of the most highly decorated heroes in that last round. Excellent gameplay from him, even with that crazy ping. As right there, he just spiked up to 999. There is the play. So you can hear the ratchet going on the tank. And it looks like we did manage for a couple of seconds to get an allied engineer on that tank. And no, they didn't able they were not able to get that tank repaired as uh, Mezzi once again pinging 999. So we're gonna have to pause the match and see what's going on. As he's saying, I what's going on? Yeah, I'm pinging 999. I can type move. You don't really need me to move now, do you? <laughs> as Metro is taking donations to get a new internet for Mezzi. <laughs> Alright, looks like his ping is back. Match will begin in seven seconds. Lazy Bastards taking on F4M. We've had only one person suggest what F4M might stand for, and uh, Marius has decided that it stands for Fondlers for Men. That is a little complicated. You know, I know you tried, but <laughs> I don't think I would actually put any money on that right there. 12 minutes, 58 seconds to go. Lazy Bastards are set up defending that tank for all it's worth. And we've got F4M coming inside right now. They're going to try and get this tank under repair on the move. And so far, no luck. whoop ass saying he loves Marius for that Fondlers for Men. Very nicely done. But no, the tank is just not moving. The Jagged Panther is still billowing lots of Dynamite toxic planted. smoke. And Dynamite has them planted at that tank barrier. So if they ever get this tank repaired and on the way, well, you know, they can at least get through the barrier. <laughs> Answer at Odin, T-E-G. They are setting up one heck of a defensive force on this tank right now. The toxic billowing pollution smoke. As Oh, there we go. I heard a ration for just a second, but F4M, both of them taking out Odin and his landmines, as well as a rifle grenade fire right there from Mezzi. As that push has been shut down once again. Tank barrier destroyed. And the tank barrier has been destroyed, but enough about the barriers. Let's get this tank on the move. <laughs> I want to see the tank move. Go! Go, team! Where are the engineers? Get them in here. Get this done. Mezzi, well, I mean, even with a 999 ping, Mezzi is still able to play if Mezzi was having a good ping. I think that would be just terrifying right there. But they're still working 11 minutes and 40 seconds to go. Here comes F4M. We're going to try this once again. As they are, oh, they're in some trouble. It looks like they managed to take out Odin, but it did a alive. Or he was revived, one of the two, but as a result, that push once again completely unsuccessful for the... Oh my goodness, that's just so bad. The tank barrier has been constructed once again. It has already been destroyed once, but now it's coming in. Metro with his MP40 gets two kills in a row, takes out Fluke and Nem. And Odin the squad right now checking out that tank. As Shooter Fire is going to join them, he's going to take the fight back outside. And so far, F4M, I don't know what they're doing, but they're just not having much luck at all against this Lazy Bastard team. 10 minutes and 43 seconds remaining on the clock. Lots of Thompson fire coming out, and it looks like we've got push right there. I'm not quite sure why there were quite so many team kills, but F4M definitely in control of this courtyard. And Fuzz Cheek was trying to get that tank repaired, but a landmine from Odin, even in death, able to get in there and get the job done. The tank repaired, and then just as quickly it has been repaired. So F4M was able to get in there for just a couple of seconds. They had like one second of glory, and then that was cruelly ripped away. And once again, the tank has been damaged. It has not moved just not even an inch yet within 15 seconds remaining on the dynamite clock. Planted. Tank barrier dynamite has been planted. This is tank barrier number two as the first one already was destroyed. And we have got a freshly respawned Axis team. Lazy Bastards are in and they are in control of this courtyard once again. That push worked very well for F4M. But it took them almost five minutes to get in there. And oh no, the dynamite at the tank barrier has been defused. We do have a fully repaired tank on its way. The toink, the toink, yes, the toink is on the move. And it is now making its way around that first corner through the courtyard door. And the dynamite once again planted at that barrier. It was defused the last time. This is the second time it's been constructed. And we have a whole...
whole heap of pretty carnage happening outside that barrier right now. Cake and his MP40, a one-man killing team. Oh, and two engineers are trying to defuse that dynamite. We had Metro and Odin. Both of them with their flyers out. And the dynamite once again defused. Odin was able to get in there before that dynamite faded away. And he defused dynamite at the tank barrier. What a royal pain in the ass for the F4M squad. Lazy bastards are just not very nice people right now. As they try to get some dummy dynamite planted in there, it did not happen. And F4M, they're now trying to get some dynamite from the tank barrier again. As that has been diffused, and the tank, of course, is also damaged. Now, the tank is sitting right at the barrier, so they have a lot of work to do. They need, like, 20 engineers. If they can get 20 engineers in here, they might be able to get this done. The barrier needs to be destroyed. The tank needs to be repaired. And they need to fight off the incoming Lazy Bastard Squad. That is not a job I would want. That's just really complicated right there. As we've got Pi and Fluke, a bunch of medics for the F4M squad, but no engineers. And the engineer, of course, is what we need right now to get this work done. Here's out. No, we do have an engineer. Oh, and we cannot get that planted. So with 8 minutes and 10 seconds to go, the tiered engineer with the ratchets in the background. No, it wasn't. No, that was the wrong side engineer. As Dynamite has gone down once again. And we just have Lazy Master set up on the courtyard, or sorry, the courtyard. Um, looking over, oh man, looking over the tank and the tank burner. So every time someone sticks their neck out to try and get the dynamite planted, they're immediately destroyed by the Lazy Bastard squad. So that tank has not moved. We are at the halfway point for this match, and the tank, well, I mean, they haven't even gotten to the bank area yet. So I'm thinking the Lazy Bastards, they have got a plan to hold them off for the full 15 minutes. We've got some dynamite down once again, and I mean, it took them about six minutes to get the tank on the move. And now they've got double dynamite planted at the tank barrier. The tank is, of course, still damaged. They need to get the engineers up here while they wait for that dynamite to take down. It looks like the, uh, the allied, the Axis squad, sorry, is instead going to move the fight to the bank area as they've got themselves all set up on that bridge and below it to try and fend the off the allies. The tank has been repaired. That dynamite's going to go off tank in just a second. Destroyed. There it is. Command tank barrier has been destroyed the and the tank the is barrier. once again on the move. It's only taken seven and a half minutes for that to actually happen. More than that, actually, as we only have six minutes and 42 seconds remaining. And that's just not good right there. Tank is on the move, though. It's going to move into position. It's rounded the corner, taking out the wall. And it will get to its little cubby hole where it can aim the gun and take out those bank doors. Now, what's next for the F4M squad? They need to get into that bank. They need to grab the gold, take it back to the truck, destroy the truck barrier, which has been constructed, and then get that truck on the move. That is a lot of work, and they only have 6 minutes and 14 seconds to do it. As get there the goes gold. the bank doors. They damaged the tank. And here we go. The fight is now going to move to the secondary courtyard as lazy bastards. They proved themselves very, very good at defending the gold in the second half of that last round. Can they do that once again as um, Mezzi and his landmines taking out Fluke and Pi before they can even get inside the bank? Very nicely done. And there's only 5 minutes and 47 seconds remaining. I'm inside the bank. There's nobody here. It's very, very quiet. It's almost eerie at this point. As we're waiting for somebody, anybody, for the Allied squad to come in and grab this gold and get it on the run. Five minutes and 26 seconds. Lots of carnage happening outside as lazy bastards were taken out one by one by F4M. And this is their chance to come in. Mezzi, Mezzi was able to survive that blast. And once again, he has taken out S2. He has taken out Nem. And then is taken out Objective by taken. himself. So there we go. The allies have the gold. This is the first grab attempt by the F4M squad in the hands of Pi. Pi is being very wise and cautious about this as he is sent outside. That is cheek taken out by Cake. And that's going to send Pi back inside the bank where he is taken out by Odin, TEG, and the bank has, or the Axis have returned the gold. Four minutes and 44 seconds remaining on the clock. The gold back inside the bank. And it is very, very quiet here inside. Four minutes, 30 seconds, F4M. Well, so far they've got a lot of Lazy Bastard men to get around as a full squad of Lazy Bastards are set up just inside that bank courtyard. 
Messi is doing the work with the landmines, and they're going to have to spawn back in as that entire rush was shut down by the uh, Lazy Bastard squad. F4M, they're going to take their... And the rifle grenades are being tossed out, taking out Shooter Fire of the Lazy Bastard squad. And Fuzz Cheek, he will not make it through as... Oh, no, he has been revived, but he did manage to take out Metro. He's going to come in the back way to get his hands on that gold. Joined by Killum, but there is Cake. No, and Cake is taken out. The two-man squad of Killum and Fuzzcheek are now inside the bank. And there is Mezzi. No, you must get rid of Mezzi. Killum has been taken out. And then Fuzzcheek will finally get the drop on Mezzi. And they are now coming in. S2 grabs the gold. This is the second attempt by the F4M squad. The gold is in their hands. We've got some uh, command strikes being thrown outside. S2, Cake came in the back door. And the gold, once again, in the hands of the Axis squad. Three minutes and 20 seconds to go. Dynamite plant. As Dynamite plants at the truck barrier. To heck with that. Let's just get the gold, get in the truck, and then we'll worry about the tank barrier, or the truck barrier. Right? There it is. 21 seconds remaining on that. But we have an engineer for the Allied, or the Axis squad. And no, he will be taken out by Fuzzy. So it looks like... We've got the gold in the hands of Fluke for the F4M squad. That dynamite still planted seven seconds to go on that truck barrier. But the gold is now on its way. He's past the barrier. barrier the barrier has been destroyed. And that's the it. The Allies have got the truck underway. The gold is finally in the truck. The truck has rounded that first corner. It's now going through the barrier. As we had an engineer trying to get that truck barrier reconstructed, it did not happen. And right now, well, the t the truck is not moving right now. As, no, all of the F4M squad are dead. Two minutes and 26 in the truck. The truck and the here comes barrier. Nem. Nem is inside the truck. He's going to follow that in the and take out Odin while he can. So it looks like we might just have a time set here on the clock. But if that time is the one that Lazy Bastards cannot beat, well, that's going to be hard-pressed. I mean, they did get a time of 9.05 in that first round. Not the greatest time, but definitely not as uh, not as long as what we're going to have here for the F4M squad. The uh, Fluke has now guiding the truck past the little courtyard. And the two of them are on the way. 1.49 remaining on the clock. They will escape with the gold, but only just barely. Answer is going to kill himself in disgust. Oh, no. And the truck rounding that final corner, and there it is. The Allies escape with a gold, but with a time of 13 minutes and 23 seconds. That is not a very good time indeed. Lazy Bastards, they did it in 9.05. Will they be able to eat beat this time? Well, we'll have to see as Cake, oh my god, Cake from the Lazy Bastard squad rounding out six honors. Highest fragger, experience points, ranking officer, field ops, and best, uh, best something else. I didn't see it. It went away. So we're going to take a quick break. 13 minutes and 20 seconds on the clock. That's the time lazy bastards need to beat. Will they be able to do it? Well, we'll have to see in the final round. Enemy territory, TWL7, beta finals. This is DA for Inside the Game. We'll be right back. Would you like some of this? Rock it on the LG style and a nice jump pad assault on the quad game by Ricky. He jumps with the rocket and Paul Wall's gonna pick up that quad. Or some of this. Third Templar in front, killing off several zealots. Nicely done here by Kirhus. He's pushing back one Ricky slowly but surely. He's got a Dark Templar to deal with. Uh, how about both? I love you. I'm on six now. I'm on six now. And uh, Pi would like a shout out uh, to FA for the sweet wall hacks. Yeah. <laughs> there was some smack talking in the server a little bit earlier, and uh, unfortunately, I don't know if uh, you know. I don't know if it's serious or if these two teams really do hate each other. But they're throwing out some really strange stuff right now. So we're just gonna punt it. We're just gonna ignore them for a few moments and wait as. A couple of people are readying up, so it looks like we do have a full roster. I'll give you a quick roster rundown, courtesy of Speakeasy. Got the Axis team starting out for F4M. We are going to have oh, a bunch of confusing names: Fluke, Killum, Fuzzy Cheek One, Fuzz Cheek One. I'm sorry, Pi, uh, S2. Oh my goodness, we'll call him S2 and uh, Dot Nem. For the Lazy Bastards, we have Odin, T-G-E. See, I said it right. He, I actually got a lecture in IRC today about how to pronounce Odin's name. He was like, everyone pronounces it as if it's one word. It's not Odin Chige. It's, it's Odin, T-E-G. Well, and I'm actually really glad he pointed that out to me because I would actually call it Odin Chige. Because that's what it looks like. But Odin, T-E-G. 
Mezzi, Metro, Shoot a Fire, Cake, and Answer. All for the Lazy Bastard Squad. We have got Coke, Whoop Ass, and Cheeler for TWL. We've got Beer Man, who is a spectator and a backup for the LB Squad. And Nassim for F4M. Got people asking for shout outs. And, uh. Prepare to fight. These guys are ready to go. So we're just gonna hop right into this match. We are on Gold Rush. And we're gonna have F4M defending against the incoming Lazy Bastards. Match is gonna begin in five seconds here on Inside the Game. This is the TWL Beta 7 final. And here we go. Inside the Game. Radio, 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 ITG. And we are back. This is the second half of round number two. 13 minutes and 23 seconds is the time that F4M is able to put on the clock. The Lazy Bastards now need to defend against that time. Will they be able to do it with 12 minutes and 25 seconds to go? Well, the tank has been damaged. Let's see how far exactly that tank has gotten as the tank has been repaired. And we have got a tank barrier only halfly constructed right now. Mezzi is making his way down there. No need to worry about that. The tank is on its way, and the barrier has an answer. has got that tank repaired, and he is inside the MG42 nest, making his way around that first corner and down towards the tank barrier. Not constructed. It's just a ghost of a tank barrier, as we do have Nam with the engineer pliers out, but he will be taken out by shoot fire and that MP40, so it's not going to happen. That tank barrier has not been constructed. And the tank is going to pass that nice and pretty as you please. You can hear some ratcheting happen as the Allied Command Post has been constructed as the Lazy Deer in this match. Only 13.23 on the clock, but that is practically the full time. And with 11 minutes and 17 seconds to go, the tank is moving into position on the bridge. And they are going to have a shot at that gold in just a couple of seconds. They're doing this much faster than F4M was able to do in that second round when they were in charge. And as a result, we're going to have to see what their defense around the gold is going to be like as that tank is moving into position. There goes the shot, and the bank doors are wide open. Here we go. The fight is moving now to the ground, and there is the Axis gold all nice and secure on that desk. And with 10 minutes and 48 seconds, Mezzi is the first one inside. He is an engineer, and he already has that gold. He is just going to waltz right into the bank and uh, waltz right out the courtyard from behind. You know, he actually got all the way to the truck barrier with that gold before he was taken out. Now that is some slow F get back in there. He grabbed the gold from his fallen comrade and took that all the 10 seconds remaining on the clock. The gold is in the truck and now all they need to do is make the truck go. Shooter Fire is hanging out on top of the truck as he is now crouched down prone behind the gold and he is going to guide that truck around the corner and it is already going up the little hill. And this is going to be one hell of a time set by the Lazy Bastards if they can just continue this uh, to this run as, holy crap, I mean, I only got like two seconds of casting. The good games are already being exchanged members of the Lazy Bastard squad and they're just having some fun knife in the truck as it goes around that second corner. And uh, Answer was crushed by the truck. <laughs> That's got to suck. The Axis Gold only to be taken out by the truck in the final couple of seconds. Ouch. That's, uh, that's a Milan, it's more set irony right there. 9.20 on the clock, and that's it. The truck has rounded that corner, and with uh, they, they beat that in 4 minutes and 6 seconds. I mean, I was saying that, you know, they were able to do it in 9 minutes and 5 seconds, but they were able to do it this time 4.06. And with that, the Lazy Bastards are going to take it 2-0, to zero, a nice clean sweep over the F4M squad, the Fondlers for men. And they are the TWL Beta number 7 champions. Very nicely done. Congratulations, Lazy Bastard. Give us a few seconds. We'll be right back. And we will have a quick recap of this game only on Inside the Game. This is DA. We'll be right back. 5,000 spots of pure shoutcast power. This 